your dad's on his third cup of coffee. You don't mind sure to see him at the end of the table. <laughs> hey, did we get this face? I keep it on top of the cabinets. You may want to think about wiping it down before making it the centerpiece for Mother's Day brunch. Your mom said it was covered in dust. Ew, was she disgusted? No, actually, along with all the dead skin cells, dirt, and lint, there was oh. apparently some glitter mixed in with the dust, and she called it glamorous. Aww. <laughs> that makes sense to you? She's focusing on the positive. There's no positive. You put something filthy right in the center of the table where all the guests are going to eat. But my dust is glamorous. My parents raised Matt and me in the 90s, so they're all about building our self-esteem, telling us we could do anything. They never stop encouraging us. If we were raised in the same decade. If my mom had seen that beige, she would have immediately insisted that we clean this entire apartment and then try brunch again next week at her place. After that humiliation, we would have strived to do better next time. That's because they're immigrants. They didn't cart you all the way over from Pakistan so you could live in some dusty one bedroom in Queens, married to some random white girl, designing websites for coffee bars and cupcake gourmets. I'm a city councilman, and hey, you're married to me. And I love you. But I don't have anything to prove. I was born here. <laughs> you're a receptionist, no one reads your blog. Don't get defensive. I'm just trying to see things from the Pakistani perspective. Have your relatives in Pakistan even seen any of your websites? Probably not. They need electricity. Hey, who gets the French toast? Me? I've been craving it for a month, but I was waiting for a special occasion so the calories won't count. Huh, where's your uh, dad's plate? I had his bacon. What are you doing? You can't touch that! No, I, Drop it. I can. Drop it. I can touch it, I can't eat it. How else do you expect me to pick it out of every sandwich, salad, soup, and McMuffin? You know, Americans even put bacon in chocolate bars these days. It's really that delicious. It's okay, I've had turkey bacon. They don't put turkey anything in chocolate. I got the toast. I had to chase the delivery guy down and search his bike basket myself. I can't believe you guys had toast delivered. I can't believe you wore that to Mother's Day brunch. What's wrong? I wore this to work yesterday. Oh, it's not good enough for the food that you didn't make? I didn't make any food so I could focus on plating. You eat with your eyes first. That's why you need just the right amount of glittery dust on the dining table. Mm. Happy Mother's Day! Thank you, Vita. <laughs> Where's son? Well, he got an 87 on his US history exam. So, your dad is making him write an apology letter to George Washington, explaining to him why he has dishonored our family, by not appreciating the great nation we have toiled and sacrificed to bring him to. Heavy. Hey, what did you see? I, I just... It's unclean. I didn't eat it. Not just, for you to touch. I, I didn't touch it. Touch, touch. touch. And we will be sitting down in just a minute. Can I get you guys anything to drink in the meantime? I'm fine. I love let's see. It's like a smoothie with special yogurt, spices and fruit mixed in. Mm. Food, I like mango. Um, okay, well, I could get you a Jamba Juice. It's only 10 blocks away and they have smoothies. So. This is Jamba. Sounds Italian. I mean, what what do these Italians know anything about lassi? Well, they don't have any uh, foods mm. from your culture today, so... What is this? No, it's either this or coffee. Nice. Hostessing. We also have water. Be sure to push our running waters. Mm. Huh. Hello, honey. Are you sure that the bookcases in the hall are secure? They're fine, Mom. And did Kamal secure them to the wall? Because, man, you could look at them. You know, he just built some shelves in his apartment and not an Ikea bookcase. <laughs> Real shelves nailed into the wall. I had to find a stud. Correction. Another stud. I know, I saw your Facebook status. What does Ellie do with these? Does she pretend? 
pray to them? Uh, she doesn't pray to any of it. She looks at it sometimes when she prays, but uh, it's different. Catholics are so old world and foreign. Just like those Shiites. Hey, what is this? This is for those burnt offerings, yeah? So where's the incense? What is she? If you have questions about El's religion, you could just ask her. If there was a non-judgment to wait to raise that question. <clears throat> Ah, I see you're admiring Elle's collection of little saints. Mm. That's really something she gets from her Portuguese side. The Irish family I grew up in, the only religious symbols you needed were one big dark wooden crucifix over every bed and doorway, and then one big cross-shaped headstone for when you died. Oh, and for the car, maybe a uh, St. Christopher's uh, medal on the, uh, on the visor. But he never really existed, so it doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so what do all of these things do? You're right, there is no good way to ask that question. <laughs>